Being an artist is a big part of my identity. I've either drawn or painted my whole life because I, I grew up in a family where that's just what we did. We, you know, we drew together. Oddly enough, it's taken me a long time to say I'm an artist. I would often say I'm an illustrator, I, I illustrate books, or I'm a teacher. But I, I always had a hard time saying I'm an artist because what does that mean, you know? I would say that art is really important. <laughs> Um, it is dialogue, it is sharing feelings. We can be political about it. We can use it as a jumping off point to either engage or figure things out. I feel really proud to say I'm an artist. I had gone to see my parents in Santa Barbara and decided to take a train from Santa Barbara to Los Angeles. While I was sitting on the train and looking out the window, I began to realize that I had taken this train trip when I was a young girl to see my grandmother. This was the inspiration, this train ride that I had taken many years ago, and that was the spark for these landscapes. The show is called 310 to Union Station, Union Station in Los Angeles. And it's a kind of a nod to 310 to Yuma, which is an old Western. Uh, many of these are towns that are, uh, you know, dilapidated or agricultural. I mean, they're, they're beautiful. And in this kind of light, there was a lot of potential for photography. So I stood there with my iPhone and I just shot all of these settings that were passing me by. It wasn't until I got back to Brooklyn that I realized I had quite a lot of material for a body of work. And I just began making my way through the feeling of movement from a train and also memory. So a lot of these, when you look up close at these images, there's a bit of ghosting of you know mark making and sort of layer making that could be almost as if you uh, had been there before. I am inspired mostly by painting the light. I'm a plein air artist, which means I paint out on location a lot. There's something about the light and playing with light and, and uh, shadow that sets up a great composition. I mean, I grew up in a family of artists. That's what we did. We drew together and we would go out and paint a lot together. So I, I draw inspiration from people in my life my gallery mates, my husband, who's a photographer, and constantly trying to evolve to find what it is that I want to say or a feeling I want to put out there on canvas. I'm not purely abstract by any stretch, but I like to abstract and find sort of that bridge between representational and abstract.